All right, so four cases of Iddah. Let's mention the first. Let's say the Iddah of the menstruating woman. How long is the Iddah of a menstruating woman? Three clean periods. Correct. That's according to Ash-Shafi'i. According to Abu Hanifa, it's the reverse. Three menstrual cycles. Well, according to Ash-Shafi'i, it's three clean periods, not three menstrual cycles. Yes. Three clean periods is the correct answer. According to Abu Hanifa, it's the reverse. It would be three menstrual cycles. But we're going according to Ash-Shafi'i. So three clean periods. Which means um, she's not menstruating. That's her first clean period. Then she menstruates. Then she's not menstruating. That's her second clean period. Then she menstruates. Then she's not menstruating. That's her third clean period. Or clean interval. Then she menstruates. When this next, this menses right here comes on her, it is over. By the commencement of her menses, after that third clean period, her idda has expired. All right. Uh, try not to overlook a person saying to you that her idda is 90 days. It seems that that is a frequent or common uh, misconception. There's a difference between three non-menstruating cycles and 90 days because when we say three non-menstruating cycles, that means her own personal menstruation. So what if she menstruates once per year? Then how long is her idda? Three years. Okay. What if she menstruated for a day and then she was clean for 15 days and then she menstruated for a day and she was clean for 15 days and she menstruated for a day and she was clean for 15 days? How many days is that? So, three clean periods is the idda is the idda of a menstruating woman. What is the idda of a non-menstruating woman? Three lunar months. Correct. And it is valid to say three months. But it is necessary to intend the lunar month. Because our religious rules go by the lunar calendar. Three months meaning three lunar months. So here also you don't want to say 90 days. Because a lunar month can be 29 days or 30 days. What is the idda of the pregnant woman? That's the third case. So first case is menstruating woman. Second case is non-menstruating woman. The idda of a menstruating woman. The idda of a non-menstruating woman. What is the idda of a pregnant woman? Until the termination of her pregnancy, correct. Or until she gives birth. You can see it, you can say it either way, but the termination of her pregnancy is a, or the end of her pregnancy is a, a broader, more encompassing expression. Okay? So that means even if it's two minutes, her marriage was breached by some sort of breach, divorce, apostasy, whatever. And then two minutes later, one minute later, she dropped her load. Her idda is over. And the fourth case is the case of whom? One is menstruating woman. Two is non-menstruating woman. Three is pregnant woman. And four is the widow. Correct. 
And her idda is how long? Four months and ten days. What types of months? Lunar months. So it's not a condition to say lunar as long as we know that. Nah, barakallahu fikum. So a lunar month is what? 29 days or 30 days? A solar month is how much? That's easy. No, 28 days, only one. One month is like that. Solar month, I only know solar, yes, 29, 30, 31 days. February can be 28 or 29, and all the other months are 30 and 31. So we go by the lunar months in our religion. And the lunar years, 